everybody. So we, we hung out at the house at Arvita. She's our house away from home. And we had a piece of the butterscotch pound cake and coffee. Yes, indeed, it was amazing. We put it in the refrigerator at night, you guys, because I'm concerned about all the raw products. And it comes out beautiful. Oh yeah, It is so, so good. good. We're, we're, we, we ate the gingerbread pound cake. We ate the, we ate the pumpkin spice one. It's amazing. It really is. Now, um, also, we missed out on going to some of the early places to get breakfast this morning. So we're in the tween time. There's a black bear diner here and you can order a la carte. So Harry got a hamburger patty and three poached eggs and I got the sausage links with three poached eggs. So we're basically having our break fast now and then we're gonna go check out the town, go check out the rest of the camps, camp area, the state park, and take some pictures of that. I gotta get me one of those. What is it? Them underwear. What? Look around the corner. I will when we leave. Anyway, you guys, we'll share when we get our meal with everybody. So I got three sausages and three poached eggs medium. Here he got a hamburger patty and three poached eggs. Poached eggs are always the easiest and the healthiest to get because they don't use any fats. They're boiled in water, so we don't have to worry about any fats with those. So anyway, I've got my Redmond Real Salt and I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast. Yes, I am. Well, we had breakfast already. We had my butterscotch pound cake and coffee for breakfast. So I guess this is our second or our main meal of the day. Second breakfast. <laughs> second breakfast. Sounds like a yeah. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. How many breakfasts can you have, right? Anyway, you guys gotta eat now. What about third and fourth? There you go, second breakfast. Oh, this is a second breakfast, there you go. See, look, aren't these nice? These are poached medium, just the way I wanted them. I should have brought a piece of my toast to put underneath it, Harry. Well, you know, we didn't think about it. doing good, right? just to They have, oh, I know, I know, here, come back to me. Did you guys get the emergency broadcast on your phone and TV and everything today? We did uh, in Cottonwood. So I just was wondering if you guys all got it or if just some of you got it. This was the one where they tested all the devices supposedly across the country here in the U.S. You know, for a nuclear attack. Well, for emergency. Uh -huh. purposes. And Russia, anyway, and Russia, just to see and Russia doing it did the, the same exact thing same there. Yes, they did. Of the day, the exact same time and everything. Kind of weird. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Anyway, you guys, let us know down in the description below if you guys got it on your phone, got it on your TV, got it on your radio, where you're driving in the car. You know, where did you get it? How many devices did you get it on? And let us know. Anyway, you guys, got to eat now. guys we are in ace hardware in cottonwood and i love this store it's huge but look at this section of barbecue condiments seasoning sauces rubs oh my gosh they have got everything everything i've ever won, wanted they've got wing dust over here wing dust pizza dough recipes. Look at all the seasonings they have. They've got duck fat spray. Oh my gosh. I mean, you guys, they have got, ooh, black magic, Cajun seasoning, spiceology. You got a, zero sugars. Some of this stuff, black and blue, Korean brand, all of this stuff, Traeger, all the Traeger stuff right here. Look at this. Wow. Look at this, all Traeger, Traeger spices, seasoning all the way down. Yeah. Big green egg sauces. Anyway, you guys, just sharing the stuff because I love this store. And of course, all the barbecue pellets and paraphernalia. Blend pellets and whiskey barrel blend and mesquite blend and the smokers and the pizza. Oh, man, they got it. Anyway, you guys, see you in the next segment. I just had to share because it's crazy.
crazy amount of stuff. You guys, they have a huge aisle of all housewares Look at this. and mobile home stuff and RVs. Look at these beautiful stuff. Come here, Harry. I mean, you guys, this stuff is amazing. I found an oven thermometer, but come look at all this, Harry. Get all the way down, because look at the cute salt and pepper shakers. This is better than the dollar store. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, this is a $10 oh, dollar store. Oh, and I need a small baby whisk, too. I need a baby whisk. Maybe the dollar store is cheaper, but I don't have a dollar store right now. Look at that. There's my baby whisk. No, I need a littler one. I'm gonna wait until I get home because I got those baby whisks from Irma and um and uh, her husband. She's trying to think two different I, things I'm at a time. It doesn't look, work. I think that it's not working. Oh my gosh, you guys keep coming down here. Keep coming down. Look at all these pretty things. Look at all the pretty towels. Aren't these cute? And they got the oven mitts to match. They've got all this nice stuff. They've got placemats to match. You guys, look at the cutlery. Look at the beautiful cutting boards they have right here. And I like this Arizona map one, but I already have mine, but aren't these pretty? These are too pretty for me to use almost. They'd be scratching yeah. me. Yeah. And look at all of the cast iron where they have. Yep. Yummy can bacon. You can microwave the bacon on this. Oh, that's kind of cool. No huh? splatter fits five slices, built in grease trap, dishwasher safe. So you put your bacon on there, you put the lid on it, and then you cook it. Now that's an interesting idea. They've got the microwave oven bacon plates. Yeah. And they've got the shield of protections here. Yes, they do. Yep. They've got every kind of pan imaginable. They've got all the OXO, which is what I love. Oh, Harry, coffee filters. I bet you they have yeah, them. grab a thing. Oh, let's go this right? way because we've got everything. We've got storage stuff here. They may or may not have coffee. Oh, let's go down this right. aisle right there. Coffee filters. What size do you need? That size is it. That's it? Yep, that's the okay. one. Coffee filters. Look at all the coffee stuff they have. Oh, look at these little drawers. I'm, I'm excited. Look at all these drawers. Ooh, they got little waffles makers. Ooh, they've got a nice Black & Decker one. Hamilton Beach one. Oh, look at that. That's a nice one. Yeah, I like that. That's big though. I'm thinking yeah, but not you can big. cook a lot. Yeah. At one time. That's what I like. Being able to cook a lot. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna play in this store because I love it. I already, I, I already got some stuff. <laughs> I got stuff. Yeah, she needed this because I. Got, I, I, I need this internal temperature yeah. when I'm cooking, especially my bread products and my cakes. And I need a little thermos for in there for water to be cool. Look, they even have canning jars and stuff. Iron. Laundry. We'll be back in the next segment, but I'm going to have fun. You guys, Floridians, if you want a flamingo, look. Isn't that cute? Look at these little wet feet. So cute. And oh, look at over here. A garden with big butterflies that fly. Beautiful flowers, dragonflies. Look at this whale. That's a cute whale. Little red runners, owls, tons of mushrooms. Well, oh, he's a cute frog. That's him. He's cute. Yeah, he's, he's a good cute. one. He's pretty. You've been good to have on that when we had our uh, pond. Yeah.
guys, look at this meat section right here. Look at this. It's an Iowa smoked original summer sausage, one total sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got corn syrup nope, in it. Don't take it. Look at these. Bacon barbecue meat sticks. What's in them? I'm, 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 in, I'm, in, I'm in the mood for something. Cheesy, oh, cheesy jalapeno smoked beef. One gram. A lot of uh, corn syrup. Yep. Let me see this bacon one. I can't handle the corn syrup. One carb. They all have one carb at brown sugar. No. Yeah, I know. But nope. anyway, it's beautiful. Looks cool. Looks nice. We are at the first lagoon at the Cottonwood Dead Horse ranch campground and there is fishing here anyway you guys we're gonna take a walk around the lagoon it's beautiful weather absolutely gorgeous isn't it Harry yeah. and then across the parking they have horse trail ride trail ride right now. That'd be fun to do. Uh-oh. Sally and her papa taking a little walk. There's a nice trail. Going around. A little fisherman casting out on the isn't that pretty you guys it's absolutely beautiful they got nice places to sit and relax and ponder ponder the life you know right ponder ponder the pond so they do have this stocked with fish and that's your fishing limits one of the little uh, boys that's fishing was saying there were crawdads in there he could see uh only row and paddle boats are allowed on the lagoon sail powered crafts and paddle boards are not permitted but it doesn't say you can't have a kayak pad for it so quite interesting restroom and there's trails to it from all angles nice lit trails Sally come I'm gonna take you guys inside the women's restroom and share it's dark in here but they've got nice sinks mirrors they have got nice showers really nice this one's the handicap they've got a bench seating you can ask for a shower wand if you want to. So it's got a privacy curtain, plus a place to dress, plus hooks. Very nice, very well cleaned and maintained. Nice clean trash can. Three stalls, handicap. And another shower in here they keep the lights off during the day which is fine but you guys they've done a really nice job here's let's see what it says these are the rules i don't think you guys can see the rules anyway i just wanted to share all of that with everybody really nice campground very well maintained and very clean bathroom Oh, 
We're gonna go to the inner loop. That is. Yep. I like to trip over these. Yeah. Please be careful. At least the handle's not sticking way out for it. Right. Anyway, this is our little campsite. There's a trail right across from us that takes you to the next campsite. There's little trails. They don't want you to go through other people's campsites so they've got a lot of little trails which is nice and they're all marked clearly and they all have a light which is nice too okay this is the quail loop campground and i like it because it's got the most uh shaded areas you guys it's got the mesquite trees it's got a nice shady area yes it does sally's just sitting here looking out the window enjoying it and sorry if our window's dirty what happens when you travel, but we just want to kind of show you the loop. Hello. Hello. We're going to go empty our trash on the way out to town. Is that right in here? Yep. There's the trash. So we've got our trash all ready to go. got horse trails everywhere and you guys it is absolutely beautiful the back up the back ends are really nice too you guys and they give you plenty of room to move and manipulate your your back ends don't they Harry yep. they have little trails in between the campgrounds that take you to the rest now here's our campsite we're gonna share we're coming into it right now there's our Vida there she is. There's our Vita. If you are ever stuck in the desert, see all these mesquite tree pods? They grind them up and make flour. When they're green, they're more like a pea, and you can pop them and eat them. They are on the, the Palo Verde trees, which are green, mesquite trees. Um, several of the trees out in the desert, all of this is edible. trails that take us from campground to campground and then to the bathroom and stuff which is really nice they have them all over and they're nice and wide and they're well groomed so you don't have to worry so much about snakes in the grass as in rattlesnakes tarantulas scorpions all the things we have in the desert oh yes, my indeed. oh my come on Sal. let's go this way nice thing about the trails too is if you look they have nighttime lights up on them so the trails are well well lit, lit so if you're yeah. using if you're going to the restroom shower facility at night on the trail it's lit which is very nice come on Sal. perfect time of day here are the uh, what do you call them cicadas cicadas yeah. Cicadas, cicadas. Cicadas, cicadas. They're making all kinds of noise. Come on. You just smells everything. Come on. Yeah, she oh. loves the smells, man. I know she does. Oh, these plants have berries of some sort. I wonder what they are. Yeah. The yellow ones in there. Looks like a sage, oh. but I don't know. Mm, 
Nope. Don't know. Gotta find out though. Come on. See, there's berries all in there. What if the birds eat them? What is this? Oh, these are all daisies. Yeah. They're not daisies, but they what look they? like daisies. I don't know. They don't look like brittle brush and they don't look like choker. They have an amphitheater area where the ranger does talk. This is the restroom, and if you look over there, those are sinks to wash your dishes in. And we need to show the restroom, Terry. We are at the Black Bear Diner on our way home from Dead Horse Ranch in Cottonwood. We are at the 260 Highway and the 89A Highway right at the crossroads. And we're gonna go in and have breakfast before we head on home. I like it because they put a brand new Starbucks across from the Best Western we used to stay at. And so you can get your Starbucks. They got a Walmart down the street. Anyway, you guys, and they've got a nice place to park in the shade for RV dust. So you guys, we'll see you inside. We are on our way home from camping at Dead Horse Ranch, and we always pack up the night before, get everything ready. So all we have to do is get up, put some stuff the rest of the way, and then head out. We're at the Big Bear Diner right on the corner of 260 Highway and the main drag, uh, what is that, 89? A, I a, believe, yeah. something like that. Anyway, we're at Black Bear Diner and I order a la carte. I have one poached egg, one <laughs> slice of bacon, and one sausage. I'm not a breakfast eater. Well, he's Harry, eating big today. Harry is eating big. He's got a hamburger patty, a ham steak, and two poached eggs today. Let's face it, she comes here because I gotta eat some. Because today is our refuel day. Yes, it is. We have coffee with a, this coffee was so strong, I used a little bit of half and half in mine to cut it because it's like, woo. Anyway, you guys, we have got to eat now, but I know it looks little, but look at, let me, let me hold both. Did you do it? Yeah. Harry and mine. Yeah, who's right? Yep. Anyway, you guys, watch it now.